Hey, MTR family. Uh, my name is Michael Davis. I'm a pastor at Downtown Church. Uh, in Downtown Church, we are a bridge community, which we uh, desire to express God's love uh, towards all of our neighbors downtown. Uh, we do so in a contextual way. And so we want to also bring glory to God. And we're excited about the mission and the vision of doing that. Uh, but we're also excited about the mission and the vision of uh, MTR. We appreciate the work of MTR. As a pastor in this city and in my church, uh, I know many of you all, and I know how hard you work. Uh, and I am appreciative of the work that you're doing, the very important work that you're doing. I think it's, I think it's vital to the, the lives of our children. Um, you are affecting their lives in such a way that it will grow them, many of them into strong individuals, and many of them into future leaders that will affect our country, our communities, uh, in the city of Memphis in a great way. So thank you, thank you for their work. Um, and trust me, right now being a parent in this pandemic, homeschooling my child, uh, thank you. Really appreciate your work. Uh, but also in the middle of this pandemic, I know there is so many of us that are anxious and concerned. And Paul in Philippians four uh, verses eight and nine, they help us. And that's what I've been meditating on. I've been meditating on Philippians four eight and nine i've just been thinking about the things of god to reorient my heart in order for my heart and my mind to uh, sense and have the presence of god's peace uh, because this is what paul says he says uh, finally brothers whatever is true whatever is right whatever is noble whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable and if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about these things and then in verse 9, he says, whatever you have learned from me, received, heard from me, or seen in me, put into practice these things, uh, and the peace of God will be with you. That's the promise, that when our thought life is reoriented, God's peace will be with us. And what that means is we may be concerned about that child that we've been working with all year, trying to get them um, to the level or the goals that you want to get them to, trying to reach your own goals as a teacher in your profession. Uh, and then there are concerns in your own life. There's so much that are going on. And then the things that you've lost, the freedom that you've lost. So many of us are locked up in our homes and can only go so far. And the distancing for many of us is a struggle. For some of y'all, the distancing, you enjoy it. But the point is, there are so many things that we can be thinking about that are negative, that are not true, that are not pure, that are not lovely, that are not admirable. But I want you to think about the things about how they are, about not necessarily where that child is now, but where they came from, how you worked so hard for them to read and now they're a better reader today. Um, even though that they didn't reach the goal that you wanted them to by today because you, or you cannot physically be with them, praise God for where they are now. And then many of you who are struggling because of the freedom that you've lost, I want you to think about what you have, your safety and your health. Um, and then some of us, we are struggling in so many different ways that we're anxious. We don't know what's to come. And so it's hard for us to think about what is admirable. But I want you to think about what's, what's excellent, what's already good. And when you start to think about those things, Think about how your heart changes and how your mind changes and how God begins to renew your thinking through that. But then you want to put into practice, put into practice some of the things that you learn through your training through MTR, what you've learned through some of your coworkers, what you've learned from maybe that 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 older peer in your church or in your community that's helped you along the way, that showed you and given you guidance and wisdom. When you put those things into practice, trust me, God's peace will be with you because he He's promised his peace to be with you. He's promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He is a God that is not going to let us be overwhelmed by our anxiety, nor will he let us fall to victim to something else. But he is a God that will keep us always. Let, uh, let's pray to that God. Uh, I'm going to say a brief prayer for us. Father, we love you and we thank you because you are one who reminds us that you are good, you are holy and true, and that we can think about the things of the Lord and we can trust in you in all ways. For it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Listen, 
Think about the things of the Lord. Think about what's true. Think about what's pure, what's lovely, what's admirable, what's, what's, what's excellent and praiseworthy. And then begin to put in practice some things. And as you meditate on that, trust me, uh, it's not necessarily that you won't, that the pandemic will be over, but you will know how to thrive and not simply survive through this pandemic. All right. Blessings to you all.